Hey y'all, I am back and it's been so damn long that I didn't like my hair. Hey y'all, and welcome to MT's Corner with Maisha Tierra. And I'm Maisha Tierra, professional actress, director, theater owner, and content creator. On my channel, we discuss all things acting, centered around the black acting experience. From my opinion, to movie reviews, to acting advice, and much more, you'll find right here. So, join your girl in the corner. We have some things we need to discuss. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can see me on your timeline every time. Hey everybody and welcome back to MT's Corner with Maisha Tierra and I am Maisha Tierra. If you are new to my channel, I talk about all things involving the black actor entertainment world, my own experiences, and how I'm coasting through the whole thing, plus coasting through the whole pandemic, okay? So, I literally have been gone so long that y'all have not seen me, I feel like at least in almost a year, and I feel down bad for that because I appreciate every last one of y'all. That, that subscribes to me. So if you're subscribed to me, please, please, please give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know how you're doing because I left y'all for dead. Okay. I left y'all for dead. In a word of Carisha, I left y'all for dead for real. Hey, Santana always, oh, my man, my man, my man, my man. Bitch, your man left you for dead, ho. And it was not on purpose. I, honestly, your girl was going through some things. And... Life just happened, like literally. I mean, but I I feel a little like like life is happening to like all of us, honestly. But life has just been happening to your girl, and I've had to reevaluate some things. I, I am on a journey to self care, to self love, way more than I have been, and it's definitely a journey, honey. It is a marathon, honey. It is not a sprint. and it is a process. Okay, so since the last time y'all saw me, like I said in my intro. Honey, I have locked my hair, okay? Do you see this? I literally have locked my hair, y'all. I've been locked since um, September 2021. So this is a new process. It's still like locking. I went and got two strands. Like I don't even know if you can really see the texture like that. I think you can a little bit. But I went and got uh, my hair two strand, pretty much like two strand twisted into locks so the bottom half is still forming but you see all these curls and all this texture honey and then the top half is actually you know actually more locked you can see this right here like the top half is actually more locked and the bottom half is you know she's just doing her own thing and I'm enjoying the process and the reason that I went ahead and got locked is I honestly was tired of dealing with my hair okay I have around like 4B ish hair and it kept getting longer, y'all, and I didn't want to cut it. I, it honestly, it was going to be, I was going to be bald-headed, okay, straight up bald. Like, I was going to shave everything off of my stuff, or I was going to lock my hair. And my boyfriend's hair is locked, and I was like, I like his hair. That's cute. Then, of course, I went on Instagram on the Discover page, and I was like, ooh, I like her locks. Ooh, that's cute. I like the way they styled that. So, here I am. So, we're going to see what kind of auditions I get now that my hair is locked. Because you know it changes, honey. For the black girls, it changes depending on what the hair looking like. And I haven't gotten to the whole wig brigade of people or even know how to really put a wig on correctly. So, I don't know if I'm even going to be doing that. But, yeah. So, since the last time y'all saw me, I have locked my hair. I still, you know, I still got my snot though. Cheese. Um, not only that, but I also got a personal trainer because how I'm going to be a super villain in a Marvel movie if I can't even run, honey? And that is, you know, that is what I've been thinking about. Like, for some reason, I think on my bucket list of acting things is me being a superhero in a Marvel movie. So, therefore, I decided to go ahead and get me a personal trainer and a gym membership. And I got that in September as well. So, I, I guess a lot of stuff started happening for me in September. I started changing my life around in September to an extent, then December hit, but uh, we can get to December in a second, but yeah, so I started getting a personal trainer in September. I started out at, when I had my personal trainer, 210 pounds, originally before quarantine happened, when I just moved to uh, Chicago, which was almost five years ago now, like I'm, I'm going to do an anniversary video on that, but when I first moved to Chicago, um... I was around like 150, 
150 pounds and I'm five eight. And then I got in a relationship, so I gained some love weight, honey. Then I uh, courted together, and I gained some depression weight, darling. And, and y'all know what it is. I gained some depression weight so freaking heavy. So when I got me a personal trainer in September, laxed a little bit in December because I had some personal issues that I might touch on a little bit that, like, happened. So it just honestly threw me for a loop. Um... So, I, since I've gotten my personal trainer, I am now 207 pounds instead of 210. However, I lost 11 pounds of fat and gained 5 pounds of muscle. So, work that out however you will. The personal trainer told me what that meant, and I was sitting there like... Yeah, sure, mm -hmm, but you said, that sounds great, that sounds great. That's, that, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about. So... But I have, so, I'm going to shine off a little bit. And, and, so, here, girl, looks like, come on. I mean, you can't see too much. But I love these pants, too. Like, come on. Come on. Now she dressing for summer, and it's 20 degrees in Chicago. But, like, I feel a little more comfortable. Like, these pants here, even, like, they're giving room to breathe that's what they're giving for me so that's what i've been doing mm -mm. but um yeah so i'm just honestly working back to getting too happy because in december i did have some like very life altering things happen i um and trigger warning for everybody before i go this is going to deal with uh gun violence it is what it is because that's what it is um, but I was actually heading to work one morning. It was like three in the morning, y'all. And I saw a guy that corner in my eye. And I'm always like super aware so I could like protect myself. Because, you know, unfortunately, that's where we live in. Especially if you're a woman. Um, so I was trying to like protect myself. Uh, you know, just seeing him out of the corner of my eye. I was like, no big deal. He ain't gonna bother me. I'm good to go. Your girl was wrong. So I saw him like walking towards me and at first I was thinking he was doing that weird thing that guys do where they um, try to talk to you and oh can I get your number, can I get your number, type of weird stuff like that. And so at first I was like kind of ignoring him like it's freezing cold outside, I had earmuffs on and everything like the whole works. But the closer he got he was like oh give me all your money or and give me everything you got. And I was just like what? It threw me for a loop y'all, it threw me for a loop. And he had a pow pow, like he had a shooter, y'all. Dead A. He had a freaking shooter. And he was like, you can't even got And it freaked me out. And all of a sudden, my fight or flight instinct came in because I don't have a shooter. So automatically my hand just started dialing my boyfriend's number, who which was not, who wasn't that far away, and who stays with, stays on go and stays with the ready, okay? So I I, I ended up calling him. And I was like, I started running backwards, y'all. I was so freaking, you know, I kind of had anxiety. I was so freaking, like, startled that he had, like, this, this man literally had a gun out at me. And I think me running backwards and then me calling work and saying that my boyfriend, like, running downstairs, it was like a whole thing. It was like on A&E when they be like, I survived, like, dog, I survived, I ran. And Buddy, I guess he got freaked out because he... I don't know how many people he robbed, or I don't even think he, he was intending on shooting. He was just hoping that I would give him my stuff. And my brain just didn't work that way to give him my stuff. Like my, I just couldn't calculate to give him my stuff. I, my brain just did not work that way. It just, all I know is that from this, if you, like, fight or flight, your girl is a flight. I was out of that mug like you saying, but I thank God, bro, ain't pow, 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 you know, in the air, hopefully I would have rather him been like a stormtrooper and not been able to get to me. And like now, I could kind of like joke a little bit with it. But that stuff was so traumatic for me, y'all. Like I'm not even like, I am not kidding with y'all. Like that stuff was so freaking traumatic for me. And that stuff I'm working through, still working through right now. And I'm actually working on getting me a therapist. And I think I might have said that in like a previous like update on how I'm doing, how my life is doing video but again okay, i'm working on getting a therapist and just dealing with some that trauma of that situation so that happened in december so that actually threw me and then on christmas i actually caught the freaking flu uh because you know my uh side job i work with a lot of kids and you know kids they they 
like to put everything in their mouth and kids have all the germs y'all like snotty noses coughs it's winter they gonna give you every sickness they got because that's what the heck kids do because that's just that's just who kids are they can be cute and precious all they want to and i mainly work with just babies because they fill my heart with joy <laughs> so um out of commission christmas i was out of commission from christmas until like the 28th and i'm like fully I'm not even fully better now. Like, I'm much better now. Honestly, I would say I'm like at 80%. But yeah, life has just been a lot. So now it's January 2022, and I am working towards the journey of self love and being a better version of me and being more consistent on this platform like I was doing when I first got on here. So I say all that to say that is the update on how my life is going. And I'm just so happy to be back. And actually smiling and genuinely smiling and being happy to see y'all. Also, I'm getting an iPhone, so all my videos are now on Android. Every video I've had is on Android, but I'm getting an iPhone, I'm getting a new mic. I'm, your girl is leveling up, so I'm just can't wait to see what my acting career brings in this new year. Um, Oh, and I'm joining both unions this year too, y'all. I'm joining SAG and I'm joining AEA, which is the Equity Theater Union. So it's a lot. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. But I just wanted to do a video where I'm just telling y'all I'm still here and updating y'all on how my life is going at the moment. So I appreciate all of you who follow me already or subscribe to me, like follow me. This is not TikTok which I also have a TikTok. Y'all, there's so much that I have to tell y'all. It's just so much that I have to update y'all on. But I'll make a whole bunch of separate videos for that. But I just wanted to check in and let y'all know, all of y'all that's still riding with me, that's still watching videos, wondering, girl, when you gonna post some new content? Thank you, I appreciate it. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and join me on join me on this new you know on the, on this self care journey. I join me join me on my acting leveling up journey, y'all. So I can't wait to see how it goes. I can't wait to to see y'all's responses and just thank y'all for being who you are. So yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very soon. And your girl is definitely being more consistent. So. That's all I got to say. This is Maisha Tierra at MT's Corner. I'm signing out. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And now I'm just about to get some, you know, stills for my video, my picture for my uh, thumbnail star.